the bar, off the bar, off the bar, off the bar. I'm too persistent. With income and no cash. Get it on my own, no collab. But for bar with me, that's a body bag. Move from what we're telling them, Mr. Berman Line Jazz back in with another reaction blood right now, fam. We're on Twitch, but we're live on Twitch. I'm doing some live reactions and that blood. You know what I'm saying? But right now we've got Danny Rose um on Jose Mourinho and the Amazon documentary. I'm kinda interested in that fam, because we all know how it went down with him and that blood. You know what I'm saying? He literally got transferred in that um in that um episode or whatever, obviously showed that he was um didn't really want to be there, uncomfortable, blah blah. I wanted more playing time, so I said, yo, just ship me out and that. And I kinda haven't just heard of it. I like I just haven't heard of man. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if he's still playing at Watford or what, blood. So I guess let's get some insight from hopefully him himself, blood. You know what I mean? Hey, welcome to another video on the side. Hey, got a Watford kit on and ting, fam. You know what I'm saying? Kling GK. Today I'm sitting down with new Watford signing, Danny Rose. I want to talk to him about his love hate for football, helping the next wave of young players coming through, and of course, that Jose Mourinho incident on the Amazon documentary at Tottenham. Guys, whatever your preconceived ideas of Danny are, before you watch this interview, I guarantee, I guarantee afterwards, it will have changed your mind. What an absolutely top bloke. Enjoy. The cycling goalkeeper, blood. All right. Right, everybody, I have got new sign-in. Danny Rose, what a frigging legend. Right, Danny, from the outside looking in, I've never played with you before, have I? From the outside looking in, first of all, first and foremost, you are an absolutely incredible footballer. What a baller, by the way. The experience this guy's got, what a player. But from the outside looking in, you seem to me the sort of player who has a bit of a sort of love-hate relationship with football. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I would say that's fair to say. Uh, I, I'm not sure that everybody um, on the outside gets to see, you know, the politics that, you know, are in football on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, yeah, I've, I've had serious injuries and, you know, I've been out of the team. So mm. when that's ever happened, it's, it's found, I found it very hard to have... Uh, Motivation? Yeah. Motivation, um, yeah, I'm not somebody who likes being injured, I'm not somebody who likes not being playing, so um, particularly last year I had a difficult, um, you know, last season to my Tottenham career, so it was very difficult, but I tried to make the best out of it. Um, I trained with the under 23s, and um, I have to say it was one of the best um, experiences that I've had in a, in a long time. Um, you know, when you get older, you sort of don't realise um, how much the, the younger lads look up to you. So last season was, you know, it was brilliant that you know, I could Bandit, pass on advice Bandit. on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and just uh, help them out and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. So I, I tried to make the best of a bad situation. I've got to say, mate, just sort of talking about helping out the younger players and like that, I know for a fact you will be world-class at doing that because I see straight away already on the pitches out there when we're training, the amount you talk and you're sort of pushing players around and pointing them and telling them where to be and all the right sort of information, it's incredible stuff. Touching on Tottenham that you were talking about there, I love, you know the Amazon documentary? <laughs> I love the Amazon documentary because the bit where you're sat in the office with Mourinho and you're not like, having a go at him, you're not speaking badly to him or anything, you're just telling him facts, yeah. you're giving him facts and figures, but it seemed to me that in his head, he had his mind was made up, and that was it. Is that how it felt to you? Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, people who are in football will understand that's a normal conversation that you have with yeah. your manager on a, a day to day basis when you're not playing. Um, but obviously, to the outside world. Um, now, we obviously know that it kind of happens in that fam, you know what I'm saying, bruv? Not everything's all hunky dory and thing, but then everyone be agreeing and everyone's happy with their situation. You're human beings at the end of the day. Obviously, people don't show it, you know what I'm saying, in the forefront from on the pitch. Actually, no, sometimes outbursts be do happening on the pitch. Sometimes outbursts do be happening on the pitch for them, fam, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, if you have half a brain, blood, you know that certain issues go on behind the football scenes in that fam, you know what I mean, blood? Come on, now, fam. There's certain idiots blood, that just think, I don't know, blood, everything's just a fallacy in their head or whatever. You know, some feedback that I got it sort of looked like you know I shouldn't be speaking like that but 
So when you're watching it, you weren't like, oh my God, did you do it? You know what I'm saying? But it's normal. It's just like you would do at any other workplace in that. But you know what I'm saying? But because there's big P's involved and people are constantly watching what you're doing and when you're actually on the job, like on the field, doing your thing, there's a how many people watching. People think it's just some next industry in that, fam. You know what I'm saying? We all know there's going to be certain disputes and all of them thing there, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it's not always going to be the beautiful game. But I'm you know about I mean? that guy. It sort of looked like, you know, I shouldn't be speaking like that, but... You know, we, I have to tell everyone, it's for any player not playing, if you're not having these conversations with your manager, then you don't have any motivation yeah. to play. So that's just how it was. Um, you know, I, I felt as if I was harshly treated. Um, so what so what happened after that after that documentary bit, that bit with Mourinho specifically, what so you spent the last half of the season still at Spurs? Full, full, full season. Oh no, sorry, that season, um, I went to Newcastle yeah. for the last six months, and then from last season, I spent the full season with uh, the under 23s. Just training with the 23s, yeah. not involved with the first team whatsoever? No, no. So from day one in pre season, um, I had a meeting with uh, Mourinho and Daniel Levy and said that I wasn't needed anymore. I said, wow. Yeah, I respect your decision. And um, yeah, I just, as I said, I made, I tried to make. You know, the best of a... Uh, That's brazy though, bro. You know what I'm saying, fam? That's what I'm saying. you got to be careful with who you give your all to and who you... And how you move in these in these industries, man. You know what I'm saying? Because just because, uh, what do you call it, certain people might be treating you certain way, it doesn't mean that they're going to treat you like that the whole way through and that or the whole way when you're in um, a certain place or a certain time in your career, fam. Because when people are done with you, they're done with you, fam. You know what I mean? People that have no personal ties with you, they don't owe you anything, fam. And you don't owe them anything. I mean, most mostly, but you know what I'm saying? And when I say this, I'm chatting about more times uh, like the head of the clubs, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how Danny Levy came through, like, oh, yo, we don't need, like, you know what I mean, fam? You just got to know who you're loyal to and, you know what I mean? How you move in that blood. Because and look out for yourself, basically, because, because that's, that's what everyone else does in the industry anyway, fam. You know what I'm saying? Very bad situation. Guys, this is incredible because for me, people like Danny Rose, they're worth their weight in gold. Not just sort of what they do on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. Like the professionalism, the amount that they help other people, you would want that guy in your team. So, mate, you're an absolute legend. <laughs> Honestly, I'm buzzing that you sign because he's wicked. He's absolutely wicked. He's a proper pro and you need them proper pros. Before we go, I've got some questions for you, Danny. So let's just talk about Tottenham. Yep. I've got like some real quick fire questions. Yep. Previous club, Tottenham FC. Yep. Fastest player at Tottenham? Kyle Walker. Okay, yeah, uh, he is, he's rapid. <laughs> yeah. uh, most skillful player? Moussa Dembele. Moussa Dembele, he's a lovely player, yeah, isn't he? Really he's awesome. got that big ass, hasn't he? And yeah. he's just like, oh, he's lovely. Uh, best He's a lovely player, yeah, isn't he? He's got that big ass, hasn't he? And yeah. he's just like, oh, he's lovely. Danny Rose just said, yeah, yeah, like that was normal. The hell? Uh, best prankster, biggest prankster? Serge Aurier, the right back. Yeah, yeah. okay, I could see that. Uh, best trainer? Harry Kane. Nice. Hands down. Worst trainer? Um, I have to be honest, since Pochettino came to the club, it was impossible to be really? a bad trainer, impossible. It was just so high tempo all the time? Yeah, impossible. He, he valued training as, as much as a game, so um, impossible. Okay, and the one player who, in training, has surprised... Look at the background, fam. Look at the athlete. Um, impossible. Okay, and the one player who, in training, has surprised you most? Here. Anywhere? Um, anywhere, I would say... Off the top of my head, well, I'm, I'd say I'm going to speak about uh, my time here. So, people, the people that I've trained with here, who I'm a massive, massive fan of, is uh, Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think he's, uh, I think he's quality, and I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to play with him uh, this season. Yeah, I agree, mate. Jao Pedro, and he's got, do you know what he's got in him as well? Is that nastiness? Yeah, I've seen it, isn't it? It's yeah, brilliant, yeah, isn't it? I think it's. Um, South American. South American. Yeah, I've played with a couple of uh, Spurs and they have that, you know, stand on your toe when nobody's looking. Yeah, and, yeah I've, I've seen it in him already. Danny Rose, friggin' legend. Cheers, Fuzzy. See ya, mate. Wow. <laughs> Danny Rose, top man or what? I told you, I think these interviews are so important to show you that side of football as you very rarely get to see.
we get quite a bit of a bad rep as footballers. Don't get me wrong, some of it is fully, fully justified. However, I think it's so important for you to know that most of us, we're just normal blokes. Honestly, we are. Now, guys, get yourself down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of Danny Rose. Let me know what you're thinking of these interviews and who else you want to see on here. And in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you all soon. Everyone's liking it, fam. Everyone's liking it, but everyone's liking it. But nice to see that, fam. But yeah, how's your woman line, guys? Reacting to um Ben Foster, fam. The cycling GK, fam. You get me? But yeah, I'm out of here, though, fam. You know what I'm saying? In a bit, people, fam. In a bit. Bath the bath the bath the bath the bar. I'm too persistent with incoming, no cash. Get it on my own, no collab. But for bar with me, that's a body bag. Your man's want smoke, then he leaves with a toe tag. Whole squad hit with a double mag glock. Got left in the street, and the body's getting chucked. Bullets with names, and your shit's getting popped. That be with me, and the bag's getting cocked. Still gotta chase the bag, humble. Ain't got a brag in a league of my own And my stats getting flagged Hit me for the feet Got verses in stats Come through like the queen Gotta pay that tax Pay me, I'm so